Hey everybody, this is Joel Fry, and this is a walkthrough video of how to use the Timothy Road Teacher Portal for the 2015 and 16 school year. Um, I have a little uh, Chrome extension uh, that was created by one of our ed tech colleagues, Chris Kraft, called Crafty Text. So I just wanted to explain what that was as I type it up. But it allows you to um, type something out like this, and when you hit enter, it shows it really large on the screen. So um, I'm imagining you guys are probably in grade team meetings or in small groups of some kind. Um, so if you want to pause the video as I go through um, when people are completing steps, that would be great. So if you would go ahead and type this web address into the URL box at the top of your screen. enter you'll be taken to the portal now let me switch this so it looks like your page and so the way that the portal is built and it is a start for now um, is that at the top of the page there's an area that we can use for uh, popular links that are um, you know used daily maybe carpool and uh, sub finder and things like that um, there's also a calendar that's embedded below these can be combined so multiple calendars can be put on one area right here right now it's just the school calendar but if there was a lab calendar or other things to keep up with we could put it there and then also on the bottom you'll see the newest uh, newsletter is will be linked uh, once this is uh, fully live and uh, at the top of the screen you have a uh, tab for drop downs. Now, all of these are active except for the grasp, which is coming soon. And uh, we'll get that ac activated as soon as possible. So, what we're going to go over today, though, is the uh, Google Drive school folder for the year. So, if everybody will click on teacher links or you know, hover over it and then click on Google Drive school folders. I'm going to pause the video to make sure everybody got to this page. Uh, we can do that. What you will see on this page are the folders that you have been allowed access to view and or edit. So although I have all of these, um, you should see if you're a, a third, fourth, and fifth grade EIP teacher, you would see the EIP folder as well as three, four, and five. So you'll need to um, perform these steps on each folder that you have access to here, um, unless you have access to all of them. So if, if um, Kina has uh, had you guys, somebody in the group, have access to all of them. There's, there's an easier way to do that, so just get with me separately. But uh, let's let's take pre-K for an example. So if I'm a pre-K teacher, I'm going to click on this folder, and in the upper right, I'm going to get a blue button. Now my button says "Open in Drive" because I own these folders. The first time that you do it, it'll say "Add to Drive." And so you click on the blue button. And after you've clicked the blue button, under the My Drive area, it will have this Timothy Road 2015 and then your grade level folder uh, directly in the top uh, tier of your folders. They won't be subcategorized like mine are. Um, so it looks something like. This. So kind of fake it, make it look a little bit like the like it's at the top level. And so the folder for your grade level will be like this. And this folder is going to house all of the documents that you need to share with the administrative office. Um, you know, Kina and Amy and Pam. Um, so that everybody's folders look the same, um, and we don't need to to have them changed names or moved so make sure you leave them as they are we'll be adding things to them but not reorganizing them or renaming them so the three folders that you have are the agenda and other items uh, which is kind of a miscellaneous folder of things that you need to share but um, there's not really an organizational uh, format for them there's also your data folder which um, during the year as the data team or whatever the data process is called now uh, develops they'll um, put stuff in there to get to 
and then you have your lesson plans folder which is the uh, primary reason for this video so if you open up the lesson plans folder everybody will have this file and it is a uh, revamped uh, text document version of the spreadsheet one that we initially started with there were some limitations as far as links and other things were concerned and so we converted it over to a Google Doc. Now the template of course is as it says it's just a template you, know, you should change this to be um, your grade level and the week that you're planning for and if you notice um, it's color coded and each page has a different color so this is the ELA page and you see this blank space here um, don't try to erase it because it's there because this next subject is has a page break in between it uh, what that does is, is it makes it makes sure that each new subject starts at the top of a page rather than splitting a page as you're working on it and obviously when you start typing in these boxes they'll expand and uh, house whatever you uh, have put in there so there's ELA and writing and science etc so um, each time you make a new template for your uh, for the week you'll just go to file and make a copy and I'm using pre-k as an example so I'm going to say uh, pre-k August let's see I might name it something like that and then say OK. So I know there's a lot of different ways to organize your files and folders, but I find the easiest way to do that is to um, click this little folder after you've made your copy. So here's my copy for pre-K August 31st week lesson plan. If I click this folder, it automatically lets me move this item into a specific folder. Uh, you can also use file, <clears throat> excuse me, file and move to folder. But I just like the simplest view, which is one click to the folder. And of course, on your drive, it would be at the very top level of your drive. Mine, I'm going to have to navigate down a little bit. So bear with me. So this is the folder for pre-k that would be at the top level and if you click the little arrow to the left of it and then click on lesson plans you'll see a checkbox there and if I click move that file is now put into that specific folder we imagine that you're going to have um, folders for the weeks or for months within the lesson plans folder which is fine um, so go ahead and create those um, subfolders within a lesson plans area if you'd like to um, but make sure that when you are looking at this level that you don't move um, or rename any of these folders. Uh, we hope this is a helpful video for you to get started. And uh, please bring your questions to the uh, faculty meeting. And this is an example of a flipped faculty meeting where you're able to do some work before the meeting and then talk about it during the meeting. And it makes the meeting a lot shorter and kind of gets to the point and lets you get home quicker. So we hope that was uh, helpful to you. And I hope I feel better next week, and I'll see you then. And I'll see you then. And I'll see you then. Bye.